guys, welcome to Dave Schluter's Victory Garden. Today we're going to head out to the garden. We're going to talk today about season extension. Also kind of mixed with plant protection, getting your plants started. I don't know where you're at and what kind of pests you've got. Whether it be birds, whether it be dogs like I've got. I've got problems from both. That When I plant in new plants, these young succulent plants, the birds come down and eat them. Either that or Sadie comes over and eats the lettuce. But also this is going to deal with protecting young plants and it's also going to serve as season extension where you'll be able to have frost protection and be able to grow plants you haven't been able to throughout the year by protecting them from the cold. So let's come into the garden where we can already see that I've already done some work today. Where I've got some hoops and I've got them stretched out over the garden. And then what I've got is I've got a cloth, and it's called Agribond cloth. It's also known as a, as a floating row cover. And what a lot of people will do with floating row covers is they'll just lay them right over the plants coming up, whether it be the seedlings or whatever it is you're trying to keep the bugs off of. But the issue with that is it takes you out of contact with what's going on in the soil. You constantly have to uncover stuff and then cover them back up to see what's going on. So today what I'm going to show you is how I've created a tunnel system that you can actually pull the Agribond over if you want or you can pull six millimeter um, clear visqueen plastic over and you can create a little miniature greenhouse in here so you can plant earlier and you can grow later through the year and you can grow things, things through the season that would otherwise frost out. Or if that's not a problem, you really just have problems with animals or whether it be birds, you can just put bird netting over the top of this. You know, there's one thing about living near the airport is you can just never get away from the helicopters and the planes when we talk about this. So let me show you what I've done so far. Is I've taken and I've driven some steel pipe that I had into the ground here just as a nest for this half inch PVC. And I've just taken, I've just taken some half inch PVC, I've cut it to the right length, and then what I've done is I've put it in one end, I've bent it over, and just driven it in here. Now I went ahead and I used this steel pipe, which it was just recycled stuff that I had. I cut it into the right size and I pounded it into the ground with, uh, I guess I cleaned that my tools already for mentioning it, with a two pound hammer. But if you don't have something like this, really the cheapest and the easiest thing to use is to go over to the hardware store and you can either get them cut already or you can cut your own. Get yourself some rebar, the quarter inch size, the quarter inch size rebar. You can pound that straight into the ground so it sticks up and you can put this half inch PVC right on to the top of it and it'll accomplish the same thing. But I have some recycled materials, I just went ahead and used these already. Then the issue that comes is after you've got this all in, here's the other deal guys, there's a little bit of math involved in this and there's a little bit of experimentation involved in this. If you know how wide your beds are and how you gotta go, you just do some simple math. It's the arc is half the circumference of the circle is. So, wow dogs, what are you doing? <laughs> So basically what I've done is, is I've measured out my full circle here and I've taken half of that circumference. Circumference of a circle, again, if you remember, is pi times the radius squared. Stay in school if you guys don't know what this is. And then I've cut it to the size so it makes the appropriate hoop. If you have troubles with that, experiment around on your own and cut your own sizes. It will get you close and then you can fine tune from there. As a matter of fact, I'm going to fine tune these down a little smaller today, uh, plain and simply because my cover didn't work. Then the issue that we have is how we're going to hold this Agribond onto this. And so what I've done is I've got half inch pipe here, but then I've taken three quarter inch PVC pipe, the standard water pipeline. And I've cut these to a little bit more than a little bit more than half. Ends up being maybe about three quarters of the pipe. And what these do 
is they nicely clip right over the top of the half inch pipe and they snap on, which holds the agribond in the place. So basically what I end up doing is when I'm all done is I just pull this row cover all the way over the crop, pull it down, and then as it's in place and it's going over these areas that I need to hold it, I'll just clip it down with the PVC. You can make these yourself. You can buy them from any good online supplier that carries floating row covers and season extensions. But it's really, it's pretty easy to do it yourself. If we come down here, I'll just show you how I've done it. I've taken my skill saw and I've put a metal cutting blade on it or a concrete type blade. It's an abrasive blade. It's not the wood cutting blade, which is this. Yeah, I wouldn't use this. This is actually probably going to chip your pipe. You're not going to have good results with it. You want to go with an abrasive blade and it goes on your skill saw like this. Then what I've done is I've just taken a straight edge here with the level. I've put this over here like this. And I'm going to cut that line, and I'm going to cut another line most of the way around. Then I'm just going to cut these off into strips like this, and I've got my clips, which is going to go over my material. I'm just trying to make sure that this is a little more than half. I don't cut it wide enough, it won't clip on, and if I clip if I cut it too wide, then it won't stay clipped, it'll just fall off. This is just a standard irrigation water pipe, standard Schedule 40 PVC, which you can get just about anywhere. It's cheap, and it's a lot cheaper to make your own clips than it is to pay for them through your gardener supply catalog and pay the shipping and all that when you can just run downtown and You've got some tools in handy. You just uh, make your own. the little pieces and keep these and then these should you know you got a good one if it goes clip and you hear that little clip otherwise you haven't done it well enough so it's not three quarters it's actually it's about a little bit more than halfway around on the schedule 40 PVC like I said again right over this half inch and that's how we're gonna keep everything secure the problem that I have and that I had today to fix is when I built my rope covers and I built my hoops my agribond is approximately I think it I think I measured it out to about seven feet wide. And if I had one of my clips with me and I was smart, I would have brought it down here and clipped it on. I don't think I have any extras. No, no that's a scrap piece. That's, that's the scrap.
me show you the issue that I had with this today, and this is where some of the fine tuning comes, is it doesn't quite come as low as I want it to. It's pretty close. So this is probably going to keep the birds out. They might come along and just peck here at the bottom on some of these seedlings like they already have. But I want to have full coverage, so I'm probably going to take out each one of these pipes, maybe cut about a foot off of it, and then put it in the ground again. I'm just going to shorten them up a little bit, and then I'll have full coverage for this to be able to cover the whole thing. Again, it's a little bit of geometry, a little bit of, of math involved to figure out how wide your beds are and what you need to cut these. Or you can burn through PVC just experimenting on your own. Cutting your own clips out of some of this material and uh, being able to clip it down and cover it up. This will keep the birds out, this will keep the dogs out, this will keep the cabbage loopers or you know leaf miners. If you've got problems you can just, just cover your crop with something like this for the year. That's what I'm working on today in the Victory Garden. I think that's pretty self-explanatory enough without me having to show you every piece of it. And uh, I'm out guys.